Good evening. Hey, the devil are we? Hope you're all well in this freezing cold January evening. Hope you're all well. Hope you've all had a great week, a safe week. As we know, some of the UK has been blasted by snow. Not down here, unfortunately, but we've been blasted a little bit by the cold weather. So, anyway, um, welcome to the Friday Night Live. Tonight, it's myself and Terry. Um, <laughs> Oh, I've got you all to myself. <laughs> Brian's still not well. So uh, Brian's having a night of rest and uh, relaxation is which what he needs to recover. So Brian, if you're listening, hope you get well soon, buddy. Um, right. So um, as the title says, something I haven't done for quite a while. Um, I'm going to do a platter. I was I just happened to jump on to Mark's live from last night. And I thought, you know, that's a damn good idea, a platter. I haven't done a platter for a long time, so here we are, a platter. So I've got a piece on the lathe, um, roundabout, if I can find a tape measure. Oh, look, well well organised, well organised. I think all the tapes are in my vans. So let's see if I can grab one out of the drawer. I think, I think that's a lovely picture of Brian. <laughs> I think that's a smashing picture. That was we when should he keep was... that on, even if he's on next time. That picture was taken when he was about 11. <laughs> Right, so this is that's good level. This is piece I've got on the lathe is just under twelve inches. Do you want to show them rather than just show me? Two inches. I've got to put some lights on first. There you go, look like that, and now we can see. Put some lights on. Right, so it's eleven inches across by just over two inches deep. Cool. So I'm going to put a mortise in the bottom of this. I'm going to use my large George. So I need about a 98 mil mortise in the bottom there just to gently nudge it. I'm not going to do a very deep mortise in there. And then we'll give it some nice shape. And whether I get time or whether I feel like it, I might put something around the rim. But I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll see, uh, see how we come. So as you can see, it's a piece of beach. <laughs> it's only eight pounds worth of beach. It's only eight quid's ah, worth. No, that could be. That could be that That's some people don't really know what the word is. That's why they don't know what the word is. So they just, you know. <laughs> so beach, Steve won't know. Ain't got a clue. Ain't got a clue. So it's a piece of beach. <laughs> and that's not looks my like writing. To me, even them, that's not my writing. That's like not my... To me. Well, I can't go by that. This is what was on the. St... Uh, this is what was on it when I bought it. So anyway, mm. um, gonna face it off. Put a mortise in there. Get it round. And then we'll go from there. So while I'm getting that Good sorted, man. I'm sure uh, Terry will welcome mm. everybody in. I will. Good evening, everybody. You've got me tonight all by myself. So look out. And I've got sole control of kicking you all out. <laughs> but first of all, we'll say hello. Obviously, Roy's put his clocks forward. He thought it was the wrong month. Put it clock forward because he's first in. He's usually a last. I can't believe Hello, that. Roy. I can't believe it. In. Is yeah. he here for yeah, Sundays or is he here last Fridays? Oh, he's paid somebody. He's paid somebody to be there early. Yeah. James Dunn's in. James. Paul Finley, door 60. Andy, you're there. Gerard, the French Turner's in. Twisted Pete's in of the trees. Where's the word Butcher's in? Is it Butcher? Can't remember now. Word Wizard anyway. Hello, where's all? And then who have we got next? Oh, we got Barry's Red Creations. Lucy Bundy Rowe is in. Followed by Malcolm Douglas. Rob from Copperell. James Crawford's in. Norman Greenwell. John Scarborough. Rob from Kling Sport Abrasives. Fred Gilliver's in. Clint Edward Dancers is in. Todd, Glenn Cole Woodworks is there. Colin at Turned Links. Wood and Burl, I think that's Haley is in as well. The Yorkshire gets there. Hello, Glynis. Um, Jenna and Woodturner's in. Hello, Mark. Kate Kitchenberger's in. Hello, Kate. How are you? And we further down the list. Ben uh, Jamin is in. Okay. Ben, Christina Michael Hesseton is there. Bum, 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 bum. Checking down my list now. Robert Broadwood has come in. Broadwood. Good evening to you, Robert. And that, so far, is said list. Mm. I'll update you as things happen. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're all well. Um, just having a scan down here. See what that is. No. 
So we'll just get this round. Which we are. So we're doing a platter out of probably ash, but you think it's beach. Well, I'm it's just okay. going by what's stuck on it. Not saying a word. Did Roy say me the word or give you the word? No, 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 no. I think I bought it from oh. um, 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 somewhere in Suffolk when I went to a demo demonstration. There was a guy there selling loads of wood. And um, mm -hmm. I think I bought it from him. Right, okay. So. Oh, no, Torsten, to you. Cut it up, probably. And see it as it's. Are we going to colour this or are we going to. I don't know yet. I might do something with the rim. I'm not sure. Yeah, good. Just looking to see if I can find you on my phone to find because I can't find out how many's actually watching at the moment because I'm can't check whilst I'm earworming. to do that Put on my list oh, hi, Andy. hi Andy that's it new so name in the chat Andy Harris welcome oh right I wasn't looking at the chat then I was just trying to find you on Mike daily room Mike Evans is in as well the Mike hi Mike I'm just going to flatten this out Jiskies with creations is there sorry Jiskies is in as well uh, coming in thick and fast now 61 says Kate. Well done, Kate. See, good job. Somebody's taking taking notice. 61 watching at the moment. Well, probably 62 or 3 now. Andy the Valley Word Turner's showing us as well. Hi, Andy. Um, Kate said 61 before two more came in. So there we go. Lovely job. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right. So we need a 98 mil mortise in the bottom there for the jaws I'm going to be using. So let's find our centre. It's quite a pretty bit of wood, that. Kez is in. Kelsey's Crafts is in. Oh, look at that. Oh. So, Let's 98 on 44. No, 49, Steve. 98. So, that's going to be our mortars. <laughs> so, uh, Dances with Ardvarks is in. Mike. So let's just put a little part of line in there. I can't find you on my phone. It's just not coming up. So I don't know why that is. Not very popular. <laughs> look for Land Rover suspension. Yeah, I do. I can find your channel, but I can't find you, what you're doing there. You know. Which is a pain. Right. Let's just take that out with a gouge. Guess what, Steve? What? I got a day off on front Sunday. Oh. Yeah, my mate Marmite's doing it. Twisted Pete. Because I'm away ah. during the day. That's and he's now doing it. That's not a holiday. Yeah. No, he's got to practice for my old day, apparently. That's what his cover story says. Oh, right. And he said, I need to practice to cover for his holiday because he's doing every single week while I'm away on holiday. Which means, of course, that when I go back, he'll be so used to it and so happy that he won't want me to come back. And then <laughs> I'll stand in occasionally for him. I doubt that. <laughs> apparently, Roy says you bought some timber like that from the Ely Club. From where? Ely. Oh, did I? That might be where it come well, from. He then. remembered you did, but... That might be where it come from then, Roy. I buy that much timber when I go to demo. I spend nearly my demo fee on timber half the time. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the same. Even Barry Chitty. Barry Chitty's in. Brian Walker's in. Hi, right, guys. How you Even doing? Both. So a little tiny dovetail on there. 66. A little tiny dovetail in there, just so... Uh, Give that a little bit, of, a little bit of grab. Mm. 
Right, got it on the phone now, so that's all right. So I can tell how many comes in and comes out and disappears. Don't forget, anybody wants to ask any questions, it would be good if you stick some capital Q's in front of your question because I'm not being an old man. My eyes are not that good. Hello, Rob, the professor. Welcome in. Hello, Andy Best. Greetings to you, mate. Good evening, everybody. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all uh, nice and warm. Right, so there's our mortise. So that's it's around about four and a half mil, four and a half, five mil deep. So I'm not a huge great mortise. But what we do before we get carried away, I will just double check because I have been known to um, mess up my mortar sizes. Not that you would know. Yeah. <laughs> but we will just double check. I don't drop the check key. You're young enough to pick it up. Oh, I don't know that. Tell my body that. I, I, got, I got to have one of those grabbers, you know. <laughs> so there we go. Perfect. Nice equal gap. So. No, Pete. I haven't cancelled the holiday. You're definitely on for Sunday all the <laughs> way through to the end of July. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little foot on there just to... Um, just for that sank to nudge up to, but not too small because obviously when we expand, that's going to be hitting into that. So let's just gently take that out, get rid of those. Jennifer's Crafting Creations has joined us. Good evening, Jennifer. Hi, right, Jennifer. How are you? Hope you're both well. So we'll start taking a. Oh, bother! I didn't want to do that. Just hit the wrong button. Hang on, I've just got to click it. See all this newfangled kit you've got. Uh, Far away in advance of what I've got. There we go, it's back. It's back. Right, so let's start shaping this. It's a little bit high, that tool rest. Mark, the gentleman would turn and says he will be staying wherever Mick Jew's house is located. He'll be demoing at Taylor's Murfield again this year. Well, Mick Jew's lives uh, north of Sheffield, I believe. About 100 miles from where I am. It takes, an hour to come to the, it takes an hour to come to the club. That's quite away goes, from uh, Newark, isn't it? That's not north. Just to see Mark now wincing. Hello, Archie. Archie's joined us. Hi, Archie. Hope you are. Those of you are remembering my live the other day. I'm not promoting nothing, but remembering my live the other day. I have finished that piece, and Steve will be putting on his montage on Sunday. Yeah, so if you've got any if you've got any hashtag pieces that you want putting on the montage, you need to get them over to me by the end of tonight. Yeah, so start emailing at skcrafts at btinternet.com if you've done anything. That will be included on Sunday. I'll be honest, there's not many people sent them in. Well, it might have been a bit of a challenge. You know. So that's what it's about, isn't it? Never and again. Yeah, the Not idea is to, the idea is to challenge yourself. Think. People need to sometimes step out of their comfort zone and have a go. He does mark, don't panic. <laughs> He's winding you up. Well, he doesn't live that near to Newark, but yeah, he does. We're half an hour away. I think. I just thought if I could talk to my talk to my lovely wife, I suppose I could have rented my house out to four or five people, couldn't I? 
Mm -hmm. Kill him while I'm away. Doug Miller's in. Hello, Doug. Well, Doug, Doug, how you doing? Miller, we're spun round. Good evening to you, sir. Well, good afternoon for you. Hope you're well. So we'll just move this tool rest in a little bit, just so we can get that swoop around there a little bit better. Professional Idiot 101's there. Good evening, Idiot. How are you? That's Danny Boy, isn't it? Danny Boy. Malcolm Douglas says he was going to do a piece for the youth hashtag week. But he will, when he will when it's warmer. It's too cold in his workshop this week. It is a bit nippy, isn't it? Bring the gills. It's a bit fresh. I bowed it out. I stuck it out. Steve stuck it out last week. Come on. Get your thermals on, Doug. Hey, Malcolm. Oh, Doug Miller's been working on his. You uh, putting a picture in tonight, Doug, or? Well, that'd be good. Ooh, I thought it was a little bit of a knock in it. A nail or a... No, it's an inclusion. Thing. All right. I could feel it knocking on the gouge as it was going around. <laughs> so I set this camera up. Oh, mm -hmm. he says. And there's no pictures on it. <laughs> Beautiful. Modern technology. That's hey. cool. This is, uh, yeah, I suppose this is um, the teething troubles you get for another year. And then after that, you'll do something different. Yeah, I will never keep playing that. Let's put it that way. And then try it again. <laughs> Have you kept the old cameras as a thing? Yeah, well, I've got all the old stuff still. Just in case you need to go back to it. No, I don't know why that's not going through. Don't know. God knows. Right, let's get back on this. John Scarborough says he's not been in the workshop this year yet. Apparently decorating is more important. Only to the wife. Or partner, I should say. I won't say wife. Partner. Because that could be anybody. That's more... Politically correct, isn't it? Yeah. These days. These days. So I'll call it partner then I'll do. Oh, it's bugged me that has now. Why is that not working? It could be just that the camera's clicked up and you know the little uh, that's what's a, the name? That's a cam interface. Cord. That's a camcorder, that one. Is it not switched yourself off, is it so stupidly or something? No, I don't think so. I put on those um, HDMI Wi-Fi thing, uh, internet things, but right. Perhaps. <clears throat> Professional idiots. Danny says he is surprised how good Steve's memory is. Yes, it is, Danny boy. There you go. He pra see what happens. You see, people. Once he's finished tonight, he'll go back then, and he'll. Download all these and find and remember and he got the list and he get all your names and then he 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 revises all the time. <laughs> so when he comes on next time, he's got all the names and he it's like like you're revising for an A level or something. He just revise all the names. You don't know me very well. Oh, Larry, a big sheet of paper with uh, you know A three A one size. <laughs> oh, it's ba that's back now. That camera printed out. It's back. It's back now. Look. <laughs> So the reason I did that camera up there, now it's back, was so when you're doing a cut, say you're doing an inside of a bowl, you can zoom this in. I don't want to touch it just in case it go again. No, zoom it in. Go on, yeah, have a go. You can zoom it in. Gonna work on it. Uh, focus it. So you can zoom it in, focus it. That's it. Perfect focus. I like that. And then you can sort of follow your 
Oh, it's gone, gone. again. Look. Connection somewhere. Oh, there we there go. It's back again. So there's a connection. This, you can follow the gouge around, so you can show people the how you like roll the gouge around when you come around. That was the plan anyway, oh. but it needs a little bit of TLC because it's uh, playing up. Could be a little bit of a dicky connection. That'd be dicky something if I can't find it. Right, so there we have the bottom shaped. Uh, just, Quite nice. Quite just, nice. Try to, just try to curve in the, the foot a little bit rather than have a square edge. That's just got a little bit of a roll on it. I'm not going to go for nothing too gracious on the bottom because I want all the focus to be on the top. So I think what we're going to do is sand it up now. And uh, get the bottom finished. So let's get the sanding disc. Take that from 120, I think. So turn the extraction on. So with that little bit of a ramp in there, I should get that to just nudge up against the sanding disc. And Don't sand tell that him out. that, Pete. I'm not going to tell him that, Pete. At that zoom, we can all see it's in, it's, it, it isn't beach, says Peter. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. Beecroft. Brent's in. Hi, Brent. How you doing? Take part in the next uh, hashtag. Say again. I won't be able to take part in the next hashtag, won't I? Be an why easy one. Thanks. You why won't you? Be away. I didn't mean going till March. No, I'm coming back in March. Oh. When do you go away then? I think it's the week after next. We have a couple Old of days. What's the matter with you? River. Old Man River's in. Evening, sir. All right, mate. How you doing? What's the matter with uh, the day, couple of days before you go to go then? <laughs> I think I'll be gone before you announce it. <clears throat> I, don't I don't know. know. I no, no commitment, some people. No, absolutely. Even Ben says the picture is superb, Steve. So. Thank you, Ben. He ought to know he's got on a big screen, I think. Isn't he? You big screen is tonight, Ben? So let's scratch work this up. A bit of ash would look nice. Burned. <laughs> bit of ash. And I'm then not, I'm not burning that. Wax. I'm not burning that. There's nothing more so than that. <laughs> <laughs> or just sprayed black and sanded back then. Embellished. No, the spray would go in, wouldn't it? Yeah, wouldn't it? Don't know. Plenty of things you could do with that. Ben says, yep, on the big screen. Yeah, be nice. So has anybody been in the workshops this week then? Or last week? But we're in Paul's in. Hi, Paul. Other than Pete and Mark, because I know they've been in. I see on the television tonight they were debating schools where I live have been closed on certain days, you know, a couple of days ago, whatever, you know, le less than a quarter of an inch of snow or frost, they closed the schools. It's ridiculous. And then they went back to 1963 when. In Devon and Cornwall, where I used to live at that time, and it was 18 foot snow drifts, and the actual snow on the road was four to five foot thick. 
and we had still had to go to school. And all the people they were interviewing were saying, ah, a load of wusses. We live, all of them are snowflakes these days, which is true. Yeah. They are, unfortunately. Lucy says she do not want to get hypothermia, so she won't go in her work. Hyperthermia? Yeah. Take the lathe into the house. Yeah. Easy. I don't think I'll get away with that. Polythene sheet all around the kitchen or wherever you're at, which room you're in. Do your turning. Hoover up. Take a sheet down. Job done. Pete says, yeah, he's actually been working in a workshop, but he lives in the warm part of the UK, which was about minus three today. Which is not good for people in the UK because anything lower than plus 10, they complain it's cold. I must admit, Tuesday and Wednesday was damn cold. I had that many layers on. Working. I had that many layers. You were working inside today, I know. Yeah, you were inside today, you lazy toad. Yeah, today I was. I haven't been for a last. I haven't been for the last two weeks though. <laughs> I went to work this morning with thermals on. I'm thinking, oh, that'll be all right. I'll be nice and warm. Get there, and I'm uh, there, and she's got the heat and switched on, and I'm sweating my guts out. <laughs> I must say though, my me. Uh, my heated waistcoat works well. Yeah, you bought a heated waistcoat in here. Yeah. That's a good one. And at last... Is it under your the... smock at the moment? Or... No, no, no. It's too hot in there for it. Huh. It's, um, it's lovely. It's, it lasts all day. It'll last eight hours easily. It just takes that chill off. And if your core's warm, your rest of you are warm, innit? Actually, it might be a. It is true. It might be a good idea, like just buy one of those to go in the workshop in the winter. Yeah, 30, five hours out of it. Thirty. Know? Yeah, that. I well, I had mine on from seven in the morning until when I got home at half five, and there was still power in it. So. Yeah, well, you see, the thing is, if it costs you, I don't know, ten pound a day, five pound a day for heating in the workshop, you know, whatever, it wouldn't cost you that to charge a battery and use it, will it? Nope. No, it won't, it won't cost you that. Deal. That takes quite a while to... Maybe a way um, forward. takes quite a while for the battery to charge. Um, that takes nearly all evening for it to charge, but it's charged for the next day, mm -hmm. which is the most... But a new battery for it is only like 18 quid, so if you had to, you could have two, couldn't you? Yeah, one charge ready, couldn't you? But like I say, it lasts a good yeah. eight and a half hours. <laughs> but it depends on how far you have it. I only have it on the minimum setting. I might get one of those actually. Well, I'll send you a link for it if you want one. We'll talk about it afterwards, absolutely. I'll get one for Ruth as well. And she can never say she's cold. Well, I bought Nick that body warmer, didn't I? She likes that. Mm. Ouch. Cool, that's sharp. Look at that. Take oh. the edge off of that. Hayley's got a, word, a body a heated body warmer as well. Yeah, I bought Nick one for Christmas because she's always cold. Hands up, everybody. Hands up, everybody who's got a heated body warmer. What do you think of them? What's yours like then? Hayley, is it good? Does it last a while? Or is it, you know, some people say some of them are not very good. No, you've got to buy a good one because the battery's in very good on some of them. Don't get a cheap one. Because they don't last. Not a good one. Right, so let's get some sand and sealer on that. Peace just said, he will be fine. Terry is paying for the heating bill for his workshop for the whole of February and March. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I was thinking of charging you for using my space. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> YouTube space. YouTube space. Oh, so that's better. I can see now. All right, let's get some oil on this. No, we're not. We're going to get some uh, get some um, 
sand and sealer. I don't want to get in that cut now because that's going to sting in it. So I'm not going to touch this edge at the moment because I'm going to be taking that down. So Roy's got a question. He says, how much was it, Steve? The oh, body warmer, obviously. Um, the body warmer was just under 70 quid with the battery, I think. And then the best thing I bought was just under 40, I think. But that's with the batteries. Oh, you, you, you got just the vest, have you? I've got just the vest, yeah. So that would fit under one of those smocks you're wearing? Yes, yeah. Well, it's designed a little bit like, it looks a bit like a waistcoat. Okay, that's cool. Because I got it to go, because when I work outside, I wear a thermal t-shirt, then a normal t-shirt, and then like a, uh, a light jacket. Mm -hmm. And uh, that right. goes between my t-shirt and my light jacket. That's what I got it for. Yeah, it's a nice bit of wood there. It's got some nice ripple in it. Mm -hmm. Aidy Sainers lasts for about eight hours. If it's not on full all the time, but it wouldn't be without, I suppose you'd just put it on yeah. full for a few minutes to get it well, warm. The one I use for turn. work, one I use for work, that goes, you put turn it on, that goes on full to start with the heat up. Then it drops down to minimum. <laughs> and I just, leave, to be honest, minimum is enough. I tried it on the middle setting and that was too much. It just got too hot. But the middle minimum's enough, and that, like I say, that lasts all day. Right. So, Lucy says her heated seat in the car is her best friend. Yeah. So you're going to sit down to turn now, then, with a the car seat. You see. Must be a posh car, do I? Heated seat. That's why Nicola likes our car because it's got heated seats, heated steering wheel. Yeah, Colin just said that, along with the heat and steering wheel you got. Yeah, yeah. Our car's always warm before she goes out, because I set the um, diesel heater on it to run 10 minutes before she goes to work, so that, that's always warm for mm -hmm. her. Oh, I'm good to that woman. You are, actually. See, she always moans about it. She always says, I don't I treat her right. she repays right. you. <laughs> she always says, always I don't treat her right. 50 pounds in screw fix. Oh, I wouldn't buy one from screw fix. Too expensive. Now. Too expensive. Amazon, that's where I got mine from. I won't get one from Screwfix, too expensive. Right, so we'll give this a second coat. We'll let that dry off. Then we'll get the Yorkshire grit out. Yorkshire grit it. So we'll take it up to a nice finish. So I cut it back the first time. But we don't need to cut it back the second time because we're going to Yorkshire grit it. So the Yorkshire grit will cut it back. Yeah, I'm seeing that, Gerard. I've got you there. Um, this is the first comment you can see. Is is this the first? Let me just go back a minute. No, I'll we'll see. Chat a minute. No, no, there's new stuff on the market, you said. Transfers sweat to the body. Yeah, I didn't see that one because you put so many uh, smiley faces of freezing cold. I didn't read the comment. And then I got another hundred faces of freezing of whatever further up but i did see you yeah so i am getting you but you're not putting it's not a question as such so i'm not answering everybody because i don't see all the questions you see right so in front if you want it red it's be turn this down right let's get this yorkshire grid It's going to tear my paper a bit because there's an inclusion in there. But this will take us up to a nice thousand grit. So I sanded it up to 240. And then we're going to uh, take it further. So, what's today's date is special guest airworm next week. 19th of February. Special guest airworm next week. Is it? Am I yeah. here next week? Let me check. I'm here next week. Who's who we got? Kate Kitchen. The crafty ah, lass. Katie baby. Yeah, she's the in crafty, the chat. The, oh, is she? Yeah. The crafty well, lass. I haven't seen much from her, but she is in there. She hasn't been, she's commented a couple of times. She's not lurking Robert in the background. Is in. 
Hi, right, mate. Um, Norbert she's not... Kruger from France. Oh, hello, Norbert. How are you? Hope you're well. Thank you very much for coming yeah. over and joining us. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit. See, Kate perhaps lurking in the background, isn't she? Hiding up. Yeah. But we're going to put her on the spot she's next... Taking she's taking notes for next week, see? Yeah, we're going to put her on the spot next week. So make sure you've got plenty of questions for Kate. So we're just going to finish off this Yorkshire grit. I've just speeded up a little bit. I'm just going to work out the last of it. I might even go on microfine on this. What do you reckon? Get a mirror finish on it. Yeah, that'd just, be good. Just from the wax. <clears throat> Is that a new, another new name I just saw in there? Just looking now. New Snook Crusher. Snook Crush. Uh, uh. Evening. It's not crush. I don't know. New name. S N O C R U S H R. Well, welcome anyway. Welcome to the channel. Hope you enjoy. Snow crush. Snow crusher without the e. Thanks for coming over w. and joining us. Yeah. Thanks for being here. All right. So as you can see, all the dirt and dust is being held into the tissue with the Yorkshire grit. So what we're going to do is going to get a clean bit now. We're now going to buff that off and remove all the excess wax. And then we're going to go with the microfine just because we can. See if we can get a nice finish on it. Lovely. Snow Crusher, Ben says, must be a Canadian. Norbert Kruger wants to see a picture of the end grain. The end grain? Can't. Mm. The end grain is here. There it is. Look, let me get you on the camera. You can see the end grain. There's the end grain. You may have to zoom in there because it's uh, whitened out a bit. There's the end grain. There we are. So that's the end grain that there. That helps, Norbert. There's the end that grain. That helps. There's a little bit there. Is it? Oh, yeah. no, it's just, oh, right. Yeah. So oh, it's just slightly a bit lightened, but then yeah. Right. Joe Garofalo is in. Hi, Joe. How you doing? Joe. Nice to see a couple of new faces in the chat. Welcome, guys. Yeah, must be must be rubbish on TV tonight. <laughs> Perhaps they're looking for something to help them sleep. Yeah. Alright, so that's clean coming off, so we know we've got all the wax off. So now we'll go over to the microfine. And we'll do exactly the same, but with the microfine. Blow the... Have the inclusion. You're not feeling me full of confidence, Doug. No. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Doug says it's always rubbish on TV. Well, it's not rubbish to some people it, because they do all these ratings and things, don't they? And I think, well, we got a rating for like whatever. And then they smack it on forever. Yeah. So somebody likes it. Just uh, this community doesn't, by the look of it, because Jennifer says TV's always rubbish. It's just different from what you want to see. That's what it is. Yeah. But we all still pay for our licenses. And Unfortunately. What we do in this country. <laughs> doing this, I don't know, license in every other country is in this blinking country. License for everything in this <laughs> Even country. Hate the BBC, yeah. Although I was watching a program today. Ruth and I were watching something about living abroad or whatever it was. I can't remember. Wasn't and you've got to get a license in Spain to do this, to do that, to do the other. And this person bought a shop, right? Or run down, smashed it all to bits, you know. Yeah. Got a license. He waited, I don't know, wait six months for his license to do the building work. When he got the license of the building work, that's fine. Went ahead and did the building work, but the toilet, you know, in the bathroom part of the shop, 
because it's a sort of a bar as well, uh, was in the wrong place. So he wanted to move it like 90 degrees to another wall. Right. I had to go back to see the architect. Oh, back went on the license. Then, <laughs> back to, no, back to the council. And they said, no, you can't do that. Leave it where it is. <laughs> that was it. So you can't change the toilet from like three fur turned it you know from one angle to 90 degrees the other way crazy governor's in no paul hi paul how are you mate? Again, paul. what have you been up to pauline all right i think we're there let's just get a clean Good. bit of tissue Don't wipe that off Speed up a little bit. Just buff this off. So Pete's saying question, yeah, but they ask 10 people and extrapolate from that against the total population. So Steve has 21 million viewers tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Yeah. And Paul Calvin has been dancing with lasers all week. Good, he likes his old laser. He's got he got the old laser in, isn't he? Mm. Oh, Ben Jamie says personally, he can't get enough of Love Island and Corrie. Well, oh. perhaps we should stick the Corrie people on Love Island, because I don't never watch both of them, either of them. Right, that is all off. So now we want our chosen finish. Just get any mm -hmm. any stuff out of there. So we've got a little bit of a sheen on. I don't know if you can see that, can you? Oh, yeah, a little bit of a sheen on there already. Mm -hmm. Just with the uh, Yorkshire grit. But as, as we all know, Yorkshire Grit's not a finish. So I'm going to be putting some Hampshire Sheen High Gloss Wax over the top of this. Get rid of these dirty tissues first. Currently 78 people watching, you know, Steve. Oh, oh. I mean, it must be rubbish on TV. Hello, Wayne and Valerie. Wayne Bigfoot's in. Hi, Wayne and Valerie. You hope, hope you're both well. Happy New Year to you both. Right, so with the wax... Less is more. Don't need to put a massive amount on. You're better off putting a couple of light coat, light coats, light coats on rather than one heavy coat. You should just end up wiping it off. Yep. Yeah. So let's get our first coat on there. And when you feel it start grabbing the tissue, you know the solvents have evaporated and it's ready to buff off. So let's get, so we're going to use another bit of tissue, so it's a nice pad. We're going to use our pads of our fingers just to lay gentle pressure on it to grab it. Now, you need to hold it, it because it's tacky, I'll try and rip it out of your hand. But we don't want to be putting loads of pressure on it because we're just going to burnish off the wax if we do. So just light pressure. You can see that sheen coming up. Ben says he watches Love Island whilst you're in the background. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know what's worse. Rob of Clingsport states that the last time he saw anything on the television was like the soaps was Crossroads. You remember Benny? Everybody remember Benny the Thicky? What was her or name? Henry? Miss Miss Diane. Miss Diane. I remember that when I was Off a kid. You're sick, Miss Diane. Yeah. My mum used he, to watch uh, Friday, uh, Crossroads. Ruth and, Ruth, and, Ruth and I met him in Spain when he was on holiday in Marbella. And uh, I got a picture of Ruth with him. Uh, and he was about, I don't know, four foot taller than her. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're just going to give out one more, one more coat over that. Just another light coat. Just to give it a nice finish. This 
This time I'm actually going to use a bit of safety cloth just to buff it off. Blow that out of that crack before that dries, because if not that will go white and look awful. We'll get a bit of safety cloth. Not that bit. This bit will do. Need to find a new tissue because that tissue I've got is a little bit coarse. Need a nice soft cloth. Yeah, I've got a bit of safety not cloth. cloth in. But not cloth of it, yeah. Look at that shine. That's nice sexy. Like that. Yeah, beautiful. It's like a lack of finish, eh? Hey? So just gently buff that off. Don't want to apply any pressure on it because if I do, I'll just end up uh, burnishing it off. So just got a little bit. Mm -hmm. So that's just looking good. Just going to give it a final. Ben said, what was the finish you missed it? He was watching Live Island. You can't spell. It should be Love Island. I'm not telling you, Ben. Rewind it and watch it. Twice, twice you said it, mate. Yeah, rewind it. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has corrected it further down. <laughs> Love Island. Right, so we're ready to uh, spin that over and do the inside. So let's just uh, put it on that camera, see if that gives you a bit better. Look at that shine. <laughs> Twisted Pete wants to know he says Steve can you stop the wax going white and looking awful by putting some white embellishing wax in there first <laughs> hey, hey do. Peter don't take the mickey nearly well, like it my, goes white sometimes nearly like my uh, blue I did the other week that was a big mistake that was was it blue or was it purple I can't remember what colour it was blue blue Frederick Days in says good evening to you Frederick hi Frederick hope you're well Right, so let's get this chucked, changed to our other one. So put that one over there out of the way. I mean, Bigfoot's got a warped sense of humour. None of the soaps are worth watching. In fact, the best one is the Imperial Leather Adverts. <laughs> Worry me, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this All right. So let's get this finished, faced off. Leave about a three or four mil thick wall on it, and then we'll uh, see where we go from there. Like I say, if I get time, what's the time? Half eight? Oh, we've got 45 minutes. So. Yeah, you got 10 minutes. Time. So let's take some of this waste off of here and then um, go from there, really. See what happens. Six weeks, Pete, not four. Any voices that shine is amazing. Thank you. He must be a little bit behind. We started on the front now, Danny. So if you are, just uh, refresh your page and you'll. I won't worry about it too much. I've been behind all my life, so. Hmm. That doesn't mean backward. That just means behind. I'm just going to use a couple of push cuts just to 
remove this waste. Oh, I don't know much about lasers, Paul, but, you know, I think you might have made a mistake there. What's that? Paul says, he says, some idiot just spent an hour fine-tuning the DS speed on uh, and power on the, his laser burn, then shut the file down and open the actual burn file without writing down the settings he wanted to use. Yeah. I wonder what idiot that would be. That's no names sort of, mentioned, I'll point you whistle. <laughs> that's the sort of thing I do, that is. <laughs> Certainly you can, Pete. Thank you, Pete, for chucking your link in for Sunday. Pete, everybody, after Steve's done his lunchtime live, Pete's live at, I think, 8 o'clock in the evening. Not sure if that's the exact time, because I haven't looked. I know it'll be after a while after I would have been on. I think he's coming on, but he'll correct me if I'm wrong. But that is his link for Sunday Night Live with Pete Twisted Trees, one of many, many, many times. <laughs> okay, it could be, this could be the one of the next year. Certainly six in a row. You could even get ten. Please go along and look at Pete on Sunday. Matthew Lawrence is in. Hello, Matt. Hi, Matthew. How you doing? In. So give Pete a big round of applause on, applause on Sunday, everybody, and then keep him busy, and then he'll be back a Sunday after, and he'll keep going then all summer. I mean, you're hoping there, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't mind standing in for the odd one for him. Right, so I think is that about thick enough, do you reckon? Let's have a look. A look at the top. Yeah, because you've got to make a if, if if you're making a making a wider rim on the platter, so you want you'll need to have a bit of strength there, wouldn't you? Mm. Not too thin. Yeah. So let's just smooth it off a little bit then. <clears throat> Why should I click the link, Roy? I can't do that now. It'll spoil what I'm doing here. It'll wipe this lot out. I know what he's about. He's a toad. The right toad. So I think I might put a little bit of decoration on the rim. That's the inclusion there, isn't it? I don't want to take that anything because that's going to break out. So... So to do a nice smooth cut. Remember when we was watching Nick Agar? Mm-hmm. And he showed us how to do that nice final whispery cut just to Yep. And a nice and low. Flute's turned in a bit. There you go. Just so you get those little whispers off of it. And then a little bit of a all about tool control. I don't know if you can see the little whispers coming off of it. We can see them. It's a nice finish, that is. Switch off the tool. It's got to be at least a 40 grit finish. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think Rob of Klingsport likes me. Why is that? He says... <laughs> At Pete Twisted Trees, you will be at least 10 minutes late on Sunday. <laughs> Tell the people to shut up. 
waffle for three hours, brackets, <laughs> so I know how many batteries I need, close brackets, and then go on holiday a lot. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of you, Rob. <laughs> Comp, oh, um, was it all affection is better than none? <sighs> all right, let's just quickly sound this up then. Then we'll put a bit of decoration on. Oops, a bit fast, Steve. Put a little bit of decoration on this room. Peace. This is apart from the fact that I might be back next week. He said when he's covering for me and I'm in mid Atlantic, he might do a, a Wi Fi giveaway. It could be more late. <laughs> Actually, I've decided I'm taking my computer with me. You may not get rid of me. I could be looking at Pete from Mid Atlantic. Thinking, God, at least it'd be early. It'd be on deck in your speedos with a pina colada in your hands. Beer worming. <laughs> Hello, campers. Hope you're suffering in the code. Wayne, Lucy's been stalking me for years. She loves me. They're on the same level, Wayne. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> we, talk, we sort of look at each other as we talk. Not look down or up. Although I think I'm maybe a few inches taller than Lucy. Rob, I wouldn't send pictures of me in a mankini. It's a naked cruise. Oh, that's so a horrible think thought. That for a that's a horrible thought, that is. <laughs> all right, so we're going to send this up I to 400. Take it. What? Sorry. No, you're all right. Um, I was just going to say I was I was thinking, but I didn't have time actually because see Ruth does spring things on me. I was thinking of ringing the uh, company, and saying, "Why don't you buy a lathe or get a lathe, set it up in a room, and I'll do wood turning on the cruise for people that are bored with you know drinking and getting drunk every night and all the rest of it." <laughs> they may want some light entertainment, and they may want to learn how to uh, how to wood turn, and I could just. Uh, they could buy all the new kit and a load of timber, and I could do it all, you know, on a few sea days over and back, and I could earn some money or pay the trip at least. That'd be good. In fact, I might even do it now. I might start ringing around, see if any any cruise companies want proper, you know, want wood turning courses across while they're cruising. Not apart from the wood turning cruise, which is a you know, could go on ordinary ships, ordinary bus name ships. Remember, I did a water or a, a watercolor painting course on one of them. We went out on where we went, New York, I think, and we were going across, and it's like seven days across and seven days back. And on the way back, I said, oh, on the way across, one of the took a moment. I said, "The roof is a water, water, uh, watercolor painting course. I'm going to go on." She said, all right, it's only like, you know, two hours of an afternoon. It's four afternoons. I got down there and he wanted to paint negative space in that. So I thought, yeah, okay. And they gave us a cup and saucer and a teapot, you know, on this tray. We had to do this. And he said, when you finish, he says, there's a frame there. We'll put your water cut up. We'll put the frame over it. And it could look like mine there. And his was next. In his, his was in this frame. And about 30 minutes later, I said, I finished. He said, you finished? He said, oh, well, go on. And he said, Put it, take it up and, and put it in uh, behind the frame. Take mine out. So I took it. Oh, so I put it next to where it would be, and I put mine in the frame. Stood up against the wall, and he said, "Oh, Christ!" He said, "Would you like to do the rest of the course? <laughs> Have you ever painted before?" I said, "Yeah, <laughs> for about forty years." Oh God, how he said, "That's room my week." I said, "No, oh, it's just some of it, doing it." You know. Paint a cup and saucer. Hmm. 
Well, you don't. You actually paint the space around it. You don't paint the cup and saucer. You paint oh, the right. negative bits. And then all of a sudden, the cup and saucer is there. When you finish painting the negative bits, there's the cup and saucer. Yes, I am. Lucy Salem from Sultan. In Southampton, that I know you can spell. No, I'm not taking Brian. Okay. Right. So we're just going to sand this edge because obviously we haven't touched that yet. Hello, Martin Ford. Martin Ford's in. Hi, Martin. How are you doing? What's the hair from you? Brian's currently, um, Doug, Brian's currently um, recuperating. He's not been too well. Busted a couple of ribs as well. He's got his feet up at the moment. He may or may not be watching. He's probably asleep. You know. Drugs he's on. But hopefully he'll be better soon. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so Rob says, so tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have Tom Jones and Shirley Bassey in the lounge, and we also have Terry in the basement making something from a log. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, Rob, after all these years, they'd probably come and watch me first. <laughs> Because they've seen enough of those. I'll have to learn some comedic, line, comedic lines. I'm doing it. I could take a mick out of the audience. Or can I? That'd be good. Just like I do for you lot. Yeah, I don't think you need to learn many lines, mate. Right. No. Uh, get some sand and cedar on this then. So, sand and sealer, wipe on sand and sealer, pre thinned. I think quite a few others would rob as well, they would come to the basement. Well, if they have, you know, they have all these like your fancy art auctions and all the rest of it, and they have all these different courses, like you say, you know, the watercolor painting course and you know pottery courses. Why can't they have a wood turning course on there? The week. Well, I got to ask them when I get on board. I can see the entertainments manager. See what happens. Yeah, where's the captain? I'll have a word with him. Yeah, I want to wear the captain. <laughs> did, I, did I tell you that story? I can't remember. I told you that story when we had went on a cruise once before. 25th wedding anniversary. We're in the Mediterranean. Brand new ship. Independence of the Seas. First journey. It was his, it was his you know, apart from sea trials, it was his first journey. Brand new ship. We got on there and they said they got this captain from wherever. Austria, wherever he was, you know. Spoke good English, mine. And they have an evening, you know. Evening, William Kenny, by the way. William's just joined us. Hi, William, how are you? And uh, they, have a, they have an evening where the captain sits up on the, you know, stage. You know, everybody gathers in this huge, huge great lounge. And it's question time for the captain. And uh, any questions for the captain? They're all stupid people. Or, you know, stupid questions. Or, you know, how long have you been a mate, you know? Captain, and they're like this and the other. And then I put my hand up and me, he points to me and gives me the microphone. Like, Here we go. I said, yeah, Captain, I'd like to ask you. I said, when, when are you going to um, qualify to be a proper captain? <laughs> and he looked at me. He didn't want to say, he didn't want to joke or not. You know. I said, well, when I was younger, I, um, I had a bicycle. When I learned to ride the bicycle, we had stabilizers on this bicycle. 
<laughs> and I notice your ship's got stabilizers on it. I wonder when you're going to stop using them and do it properly. Because <laughs> they had huge, great stabilizers that came out about 100 feet each side of the ship to stop it in rough seas from wobbling, you know. <laughs> so I say, wonder when you're going to get rid of the stabilizers and do it properly. They roared. So did the captain, actually. But he's not there. He's not there back on that boat. <laughs> I went. I think I went back on it again. Actually, we did another trip with it somewhere. I went across the Atlantic with it, which is good. Did you see any of this? Uh, Lucy, I don't know which ship it is. Is Ruth will tell you. You have to text her. I haven't got a clue. I didn't even know I was going until last week, week before last. And she told me we are going then, you know. Usually it's you are on holiday tomorrow or pack your bag. Yes, dear. Yeah, pack your bag, you're leaving. Get up and go. Where are we going? We mm. ain't going anywhere but you are. Um Actually, I'll just take it out of the chuck out of it easier. I was gonna take it. Actually I'll put a bit of tape on there and mark where it's at. So a little bit of tape on number one, so we know we get it back in the right place. If not, it might wobble a little bit. Shouldn't do, but it might do. You never know. All right. So what we need to do now is we need to actually. I suppose I could spray it in the lathe, can I? I normally would. So I don't know why I'm changing. Yeah, my mind could do. Today. Yeah. Why I'm changing my mind today? Cover a lathe up, make sure we don't get black paint all over it. So let's go to that camera. Let's get some black ebonizing lacquer. I've got another disappointment for Pete. What's that? Well, we went to uh, Tui get some money out of the week, you know, a couple of days ago. She said, we need some dollars and all the rest of it for this trip. You know, to give tips and things. In America or wherever. So, oh, yeah. We got in there. She said, what was it going to help? She said, yes. Yeah. She said, I'd like to book a flight to Cyprus for a couple of weeks. I said, I thought we were getting money. She said, yeah, we've got to go and see our friends in Cyprus as well. Look at me. Hey. <laughs> Don't you've blame been, me, Pete. She'll, Pete. You'll have to deal with Ruth, not me. You've been scammed, Pete. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when it is, Pete. I ain't got a clue. She'll have to talk to you about that. But put it like this. If you just keep going from um, from next week all the way through to July, I think you'll cover it. Offering to carry me luggage, Lucy. You got trouble is you probably get in it. Your stowaway. I like that. Like that. Stay just bored out. Be nice. Yeah. Let that dry, and then we'll give it another. Another light dusting. Is it warm in your workshop? It's enough to help it dry quick. My workshop yeah. was really cool when I sprayed mine the other day. I should imagine it's got to be 18 degrees, it says on the wall. Oh, that's not bad. I mean. Mine took a while to warm up the other day, so I forgot to put it on early enough. It was all right when it was about half hour through the live, but it did uh, take a while to warm up. I think I might buy one of those jackets. I'll send you the link. Yeah. They are good. Just take the chill off your back, and you? they got heated pads in mm. the back, in the chest, in the round the neck. Right.
Perfect if you're outside in it as well. All right, so we'll just give that another what, coat. What, are we going to paint that out? Um, do you want to you something or you should fire a gun at it? No, I'll make a mess everywhere. All of my walls, I'll have to repaint them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as brave as you. Paul calendar has got to go. Bye, Paul. Thanks for dropping in. See you later, Paul. Thanks for coming over, mate. Have a good day. That's it, that'll do. Got a nice finish, or colour might, you know, lost <laughs> shine. Yeah, that'll dull down the... Once the uh, draw up a little bit. I'm just wondering what to put over the top of it. Well, you could sonulize it or you could uh, Emma cook it. The flakes. Mm. I like the flakes. Mate. It does. Mark says it looks like a vinyl record. Uh -huh. yeah, it does. Put a label in the middle now. Decca or whatever. Yeah, cool. I know that name for a long one. Mm. Live and doll in the middle. <laughs> mm. Martin Ford says, what's a vinyl record? <laughs> They're all coming back now, aren't they? Yeah, they are. A big time as well. They're not cheap either. No, that's what we bought on my niece uh, for Christmas. That's what she wanted, a vinyl mm. record. Pete Twisted Tree says, Clash, Clash, Clash. Mark, are you referring to the tool marks on the on? <laughs> look like a record. Needle lines. Actually, if you've got a thread chasing tool, you could probably make it look like a vinyl record, could you? <laughs> yeah. 20 thread sprint, maybe. I think that'd be easier to do it on the CNC machine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these vinyl comeback records are not cheap, though, are they? They're quite expensive. No, I think the one we bought, Libby, was about 40 quid. Yeah. For an album. And, of course, people that want to go back to vinyl uh, haven't kept their old machines. And they've got to spend a horrendous amount. For I think you get a better sound yeah. from a vinyl. Mm-hmm. Turn it on low. That'll dry a little bit more. Lucy says she got a load of vinyl in the loft. Was that for the kitchen floor? Yeah, a load of vinyl left over. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like when I was decorating my lounge once in house we used to live in. My next door neighbor was a friend of mine. And, uh, I said, how many rolls of wallpaper do you use to do your lounge? He said, 12. 
Someone bought 12 rows, you know. Paper to lounge out, beautiful. And back on me, so I said, I said, oh, I've got two rows left. He said, yeah, so did I. That's it. So I'm just going to get a bit of 400 grit and just roll that edge because just where there's a little bit of overspray on this edge. You can see it on there. Just a little bit of overspray on there. So we'll just see if we can uh, tidy that up a little bit. Lucy's still got a record player. That's better. Nice sharp line. So now we need to decide what we're going to do with it. Wow. So, Joe Sonia's. Then that. Yeah, out. well, I don't know. Or, or you could put the old. Uh, what's the name on him? Put the flakes on it, put the, the, the size on it, or whatever. Or, mm. Good job, Susie Smith Return is not here. She said, Go leaf it. Go leaf it. Go leaf it. Go leaf it. Let's have a look what we've got. What we got? We've got. Oh, what's that? That's quite nice. Inferno. What's this one? We've got Made in China. Made in China? We, well, everything's made in China. That's like a... Uh, that's like a pearly, purpley, ready colour, that one. It's, what we've got here, we've got... It's going to be a big tub because obviously the size of the, uh, the piece is over that or we size it with a sea sponge so we don't cover the whole piece and then put flakes over it. Hmm. That sounds like an option, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't forget, Martin Ford, you heard it, you heard it here first. What's that? Commission. Final record. <laughs> Bowl, final record bowl. Martin thinks Martin said that could be a good seller. Yeah, it could be. Don't forget, you had it here first. Yeah, well, any, well, any, well, yeah, we'll only take ten percent each, Martin. Me and Tim. yeah, that's all right. Yeah, you can bring it to the club. No need to send it to me in the bank. Just bring it to the club in cash. Yeah, we only want cash. We're not a tax man finder. <laughs> oh, did I say that out loud? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> um. I need, I need, I need, I need a bit of, I need a bit of plastic to put my size on. Yeah. Uh, oh. Maybe not then. Oh, I've got a bit of board. Are you going to take it off? Yeah, take it off the... Uh... You do it on there, or are you going to take it off? I don't know. I think. Flakes on or whatever. I'll, I'll put the size on here, and then I'll um, I'll do the uh, I'll, I'll I'll put the I'll lay it on the bed bars to uh, to do the rest. See, look at that. See, talking about vinyl records, that brings them out the woodwork. We have got somebody called Welsh Alex now. He's come on to say we still have a record player. But it needs a new stylus. And finding the right one is impossible. Make one. You can make them. Can you? Yeah. What are they made from then? They're made from spring steel. Oh, I didn't know that. Very small, but you can make them. So you've got to transfer the vibrations up into the coil. And you can get a coil on, you can get a coil anywhere in an electronic shop. I did electronics when I was younger, like for 30 years or whatever. Uh, Rob, no, I haven't got your application form. Nothing's come through my post. But um, did you send it to my address or did you send it to the secretary? They haven't come yet. 
Sorry, mate. Ten percent each of nothing is fine by me, says Martin. <laughs> Well, ten percent of nothing is better than nothing. I remember those, Alex. You're going to booth and make your single for yourself, singing. I never went in. Well, well, I could sing. I didn't go in. Well, that, that I didn't want to become too famous. What's the word? Famous, that's it. <laughs> I don't want to become too famous. Just infamous, or not save famous. Save for something for later. I thought, yeah, I thought I'll save it for when I get older. Because, like, the same as, like, what's this other? Dad's Army, is it? Oh, Never can't. watched it. I'll be a bit of Dad's Army. When I get older, when I get older, I'm going to watch Dad's Army. And I'm not old enough yet. I love it. I watch it every night. I watch yeah, it every I haven't seen it yet. I haven't oh, seen no. anything yet. I, think I saw half an episode in... I'll tell you what, I'll watch it later and and I'm that's over uh, many hundreds of years I've been on. And I said I'll watch it one day. I'll watch it. But not yet. Because at the moment I'm waiting. So are we going for a blue or a bronzy colour? Or a oh, yellow? Yeah, we'll, a whatever. yellow? Uh, yellow would be good. Yellow and black's good, isn't it? So I'm gonna use Everybody the likes yellow and black, don't they? I'm going to use the powers. Lewis, Lewis is in. Hello, Lewis, the Clongrake Craftsman. Welcome Hello, aboard. How are you doing, bud? Happy afternoon to you. Evening. Or evening, isn't it? 21, uh, 4 o'clock. So this is the colour we're going to go for. See that? Oh. Hmm. Like nice. that. So that's, yeah, got, green, that's, that's got like a, that's like a greeny blue. and it changes to like a peacock bluey colour. So we'll just give that 10 minutes to flash off. Wash them brushes out. Take them in and wash them out tonight. So we'll just give them a few minutes to flash off. What's Rob put? Yellow and black car. I'm not going on a prison ship, Pete, and I don't need to watch it. I should be studying all your lives, Pete. I think Dad's Army I'm is one of the, in your arm. I think Dad's Army is one of the best old time. Um, I've never seen. Well, I saw about a quarter of an episode, you know, and I thought, nah, I don't want to watch it. Coupled with the fact that Ruth said that's rubbish, so we never watched it. But I said myself i'll watch that when i'm old i might appreciate it when you're old so well, when i'm old i'll watch it but you know you mean when you're older oh a lot of yeah a lot older <laughs> so i don't know if i've got any acrylic lacquer oh, just a little bit bob says yellow and black is the colors of life <laughs> Frederick Day says violet and blue. I'm only putting one colour on it. This is a camellia colour, so it should change at colour shift. So I don't know if you can see it on that camera, really. Um, it's like a green colour, and as it turns, it goes to like a peacock blue colour. So yeah, well, nice. that's what we're going to go for. So let's take this off. <laughs> so it's just after five where... Uh... Lewis is. Any snow today, Lewis? Mark says, when I'm old? Question marks. Hey. Can't beat faulty tires. I did like faulty tires, Ben. That's what I said. Did Mark, like when old. Right, that's better. Bit Lucy, flexible. you haven't looked at me lately. I had a good paper room because I. See? So you can't tell how old I am. <laughs> Right, so is this drying? Yeah, I think so. Wants to be tacky, but not too tacky. 
Because if not, if it's, if it's not quite dry, when you brush it, you'll spread the glue. And that's not what you want. You want the glue to stay in the same place. So, I get my makeup. You know, it's not Saturday yet, and I'm getting my makeup brushes out just for you guys. So, you know, oh, feel, no. Feel privileged. What will your wife think? You saw the brushes up. <laughs> right. Oh, my God, I can't get open. Or it's your got... daughter, one of the two. Yeah. It's got a plastic on it or not? No. Oh, there we go. Cracked it. So don't breathe when you're using this stuff because it's that. No, dust. don't even think about breathing. It's that fine. And a little bit goes it's a long, long, long way. way. So what we'll do is we'll put it on. And then we'll just blow off. Not literally blow off, but you know, remove. And when you put it on, you only just want to be letting your brush just dust over the top of your your piece. I had two paper rounds actually, Mark. I used to do two paper rounds in the morning. And when I finished school in the evening, I used to go to the butchers and I was uh, butchering. Cut of animals, earning money, till I was old enough to do what I wanted to do after I left school. Never been out of work until I retired, obviously. I can hear this. Silence in the chat. And looks nice. I like that. That's very nice. Yeah, that's very nice. So just make sure you work that in well. Cover all the glue up. Put the lid back on there. See, you use hardly any of that. Board, so that's going to be in your face, Steve. It is, Robert. That's what we want to see. In your face. In your face. Vivid colours. In your face, mate. Vivid colours. So now what we're going to just do is turn the extraction on. And I'm just going to blow off all the lids. Non-stick pieces. So I don't know if you'll see this. When it's... it tips, that should change to a blue colour. Keep going. Like yeah. That. It's changing now. Turquoise blue. So. Look at that. Lovely. So let's get it back onto the lathe. On number one. So we'll go back onto that camera. So as that spins, you can't really see Malcolm it. Douglas, Malcolm Douglas says there's a house near him, not far from him, that looks like that could be painted that colour. Oh, nice. That's a nice colour. Yeah, that's a... Lucy would like to know the make, make? the colour of the flakes. Oh. And the colour of the flakes. So they're, they're um, Emma Cooks, and this one's, now I don't know if it's nature, you can't, what camera are we on that one? Mm. N-A-T-U, I don't know if there's an R in there. It's a bit small, is it? Yeah, it's nature, I expect. Yeah, it looks like nature. So uh, Emma sells them in individual colours, or you can buy the sets. She does the powders and the flakes. So, uh, I bought both sets. So and I the, used the powders and the other day, didn't I? And they, and they both go a long, long way. You only need a little while. You see, you see how little I was putting on the brush, just just touching the brush onto it, and then um, uh, just dabbing it onto uh, our piece. Right. So what we need to do now is just 
give that. I didn't want to do that, really. No, you're not going to bit off now, look. Dummy. Roy says he only saw green. That's because you're colorblind, Roy. Can't see blue. Well, it changes and blue. Look. Lewis says, Brian J is, is likely ordering some as we speak. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is just to protect those colours and make them so you don't get fingerprints all over them. I'm going to um, just give it a coat of uh, acrylic gloss lacquer. Just a light dust coat. Um, we don't want to put a heavy coat on because this is a gloss. And that'll make it glossy. We don't want to make it glossy. All we're doing is sealing in those uh, pigments. So, just a light coat over the top of it. Yeah, because they can change the colours or they won't glow so well, will they, if you put too no. thick a coat on. Yeah, just a light coat. All we're doing is just sealing those colours in. So, when we turn up, the dust doesn't get stuck in our pigments. And Martin's asking, was that the flakes, Steve? No, this was the, the powders. Powders. That was the powder, Martin. So, we're just going to let it drop, and I'm just going to give it one more light coat over the top because that was a real fine dust. See, when I stand looking at it like that, it looks blue. <laughs> now, obviously, if you wanted to, you could let that dry and then put another, do the same, but put a different colour over the top if you wanted to. He says he bought some of those. Unusual for Peter to buy anything that's coloured. Yeah. And he says, you'll be pleased. No, he won't be using them on Terry's live. Not my live. It's your live, Peter. Okay. You're on live now for the next 18 weeks. Get used to it. So, just one more light coat. Like I say, all it is is just to hold the pigments in. Just to protect It's them. not a bristle. Yeah, it's not a bristle, Lewis. It's a inclusion he's got in that the face is an inclusion there so it looks like it's good yeah there, there's an inclusion out here so we just let that dry i reckon lewis got you on the big screen it will look green you can only see green as well. it will look green because you're looking flat at it there won't be until i tip it you'll see the blue It's an inclusion, Lewis, not a bristle. That is it. Yeah, that's an inclusion there. Yeah, crack. Thanks. Definitely a crack. I thought, oh, crack. Yeah. Right, so that's dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a piece of cloth, just run over that. Gently. Just to de it really more than anything, because you might get a little bit of dust or something stuck in there. So that's all ready now for the middle to be taken out. Lovely job that. So as always, it's thirds. So third, third, third. So we'll uh, we'll put our score line in up and see where we're going to go. So let's take that out to start with. What do you reckon? Bit more? Or do you reckon? That's a that's a half. So yeah, you want to go another. Half inch. Oh. That was about that was about eighth of an inch. Go another bit more. Yeah, yeah, that looks alright. And go, you could go a bit more actually. We don't want to take a rim too thin, but but it. Yeah, I'd be tempted to go out a bit more. 
because it's going to be a platter in it, so you want to put your things in it. So I would probably go out another half inch. Why out of here? Yeah, that's what I would do. That would look perfect then. In my eyes, but then you're the turner. <laughs> Too late now. That's better. That's better. That's better. All right, let's get rid of this then. Frederick Day is asking, how much would you sell that for? Blimey, I haven't finished yet, Fred. Give him a chance. Well, I don't know, Frederick. <laughs> Give him 10, 10 to get away, Frederick, and you can PM you. Yeah. PM me. We'll talk about if, that. If you're, if you're interested, you might not like it when it's finished, mind. Not, not a lot of us will, you know. <laughs> Trying to make him laugh while he's turning. <laughs> I'm not listening to you. That's per, that, that's good proportions there, Steve. Because you've got use of a bowl then, and you've got nice wide rim. And if that was on a table with a light above it, every time you walk different ways, it would change its colour, wouldn't it? Yep. Just oh, check. here they come. Here comes the smart asses. Look, look. Rob, 12 Roy. 12 dollars 12 Roy buys everything with 12 dollars All right. We can go through the bottom now, Steve, because Frederick likes it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> oh, somebody's pressing the little R. Cost more than one ninety nine for the flakes, Roy. Or the powder. What was that? Roy says he give you one ninety nine. I said it cost more than that for the powder. That was the powder that was on the brush. You know what whispers market now, Roy? Right, I need to sharpen this gouge. Let's just he go to Whispers Market, does he? Oh, I might drop down there one day then. Beat him to it. I want to go anywhere where there's a bargain. Oh, well, that... Lewis, that, that is a debatable point. On the wood, when he put it on the lathe, it said beach. I thought it might be ash. So does Pete, Mark, everybody else. But Steve didn't know, which is not unusual. I never know. I think it's still ash. But I haven't seen it finished. Now, close up. If I, if well, I, I it. Could, could be a maple even. If I came on to a live and knew exactly what I was turning and what wood I was using, <laughs> you lot would be shocked. That's it. Alex got it right. The word, 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 word. It's, just, it's a new word, Lewis. It's called Ashbeach. Ashbeach. <laughs> Right, let's try again. Martin Ford says to sell that in Lincoln, forty-five pounds. To sell it in Hun Stanton, one hundred and forty-five pounds. Right. Yeah, there is a bit like that, isn't it? Actually, around here, <laughs> it is a bit like that, Martin. And the disappointing thing is, I live near a Hun Stanton. I do Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good thing. It's one hundred forty-five in Hun Stanton. It posh down there. No, uh, the North Norfolk coast is. Hunstanton is not, really. There's a bit of money in Hunstanton, but not like the Norfolk coast. You get round to Brancar, mm. so you're talking two or three million pound home. Oh, right. Oh, that's the plan. Like, you want to do a boot sale down there with that, isn't you? Yeah. Craft fair in where, wherever it was you just said. Brancaster. Brancaster. Craft fairs in Brancaster, then. Not craft fairs. They don't call it that. They call it art festivals. Just check the depth for that. Still, we've got, got a tenon in there. 
No, it's deeper than yeah. that. You have actually, yes. Yeah, it's definitely ash. If Roy sold you that, tell him to change his uh, names on all the rest of the pieces he got. No, uh, Roy didn't sell me. Well, Frederick thinks it might have been Elm Birch. <laughs> Could have been Sick Oak. Sick Oak would that look that colour in it? No, Rob, don't take a mick. Steve can't help that. It's kind of strange watching Steve last few lives. The sound works. Who says that? Rob. <laughs> Kingsport. <laughs> just just, just banning, will you? <laughs> Looks a bit too dense for Ash. Well, I can't. It could actually be something like maple. But who cares? Certainly not beach. I'll sell it as a mystery. It's worth more of us a mystery. Mystery bowl. Mark Jamal Turner says, Craft Show, £45. Website, 75 Gallery, 185 Nope, see, you got it wrong. Gallery, 500 you get it in a London gallery and somebody will pay five or six hundred pounds for that just to make sure they brag to their mate that I've got this and this is the only one. And I'll pay that much for it. I got it cheap. Oh, yeah. You're too cheap, the lot of you. Stick a thousand pounds on it in a gallery. And Lord so and so will come up when his rich daughter wants something. Bang. Daddy, I'd like something to put my keys in. Yeah, Daddy said that just right. Yeah, Daddy says I need something. Oh, I'm not buying that. That's cheap. That's only hundred pound. I'm buying that. That cheap rubbish. Daddy bought me this bowl, this green stroke blue bowl that changes colour out of some sort of timber, either ash or, or elm or beech or sycamore or maple. But some geezer turned and he paid, on a and, he, and he got it. He got a discount. He got twenty percent off, and he only paid twelve hundred pound. That they like to brag about. Right, let's get this sanded up. Right, so remember, never bring your sanding pad past this point here. Because if not, you're going to round it over. So we want to keep it nice and tight to that. So let's get some extraction on. Martin Ford's right. That is because we are artists. I don't drink, mate. Could be horse chestnut as well. Eat. <clears throat> but it's not beach. No, that's true. Rob, price is never the reason you buy something. Or don't buy it. If you like it, you buy it. If you don't like it, you don't buy it. Simple as that. So people in lower stuff than Lucy got plenty of money? No, not in lower stuff. Well, Lucy's just saying, Darren Breeze said that. London price is a thousand, lower staff price is two fifty. <laughs> Try coming up near my village. If you get fifty, you'd be given three bowls for the price of that. That's why I don't bother to sell it. As I'm not giving stuff away. Um Should have put a new that's paddle, probably I'll paid more out on I've paid more out on 
<laughs> and I'm getting back. I'd rather keep it or give it to friends. I've given more stuff away than I've actually sold. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather not sell it to them. They can't pay a reasonable price and buzz off. Not that I make anything that's worth having in mind, but, you know, if I did... Can't see a thing. They should make glasses with little fans on us so that keeps the sawdust off of them. Brent's got to go. Bye bye, Brent. Thanks for coming in, mate. Bye bye, Brent. After the Legion. After Thanks. the Legion for his fish and chips and a jug of beer. Have a good night, mate. Yeah, enjoy yourself. <coughs> Rob Copperow says the green is pretty. Yeah, it's very vibrant. Oh, it's pretty. Put all new pads on. As they say, use sandpaper like someone else bought it. thing is if you use a piece of sandpaper once if you use it again it's not actually the next grit up because you've worn it away it's just bad grit in the first place but throw it out whip over with a nice new piece and it'll be a lot better This drill's a bit big for this, really. Yeah, well, I think that maybe the, the actual um, pad is on the smaller pad. Oh, the pad's fine. Yeah, right. It's just the drill's a bit too big. The battery's rubbing on the bed of the blade. <coughs> oh, blimey. Ben was thinking of doing a Banksy, turning a bowl and then sticking it to the window of Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> Might work. Won't know till you try. I'll be a Benzie, why not? Not a Banksy. Benzie, Benzie, we, just, you know, we got ourselves a Benzie. Lucy thinks her next door neighbour is some kind of semi well known artist. What's, what do you want by semi? Oh, I don't know many semis. Yeah, oh, there are an artist. Perhaps it's a semi detached house. Yeah. What's the name of your artist then, Lucy? Or is he not that well known? He or she not that well known that we, we don't let him know the name. Could give it a bit of promotion, you know. Painting artist or Alcohol artistic, artist? Yeah, or artistic ceramics or, you know. Or I guess, Lucy, you could get a bucket and an eight by six foot canvas in your lounge, hang the bucket from the ceiling, stick six holes in the bucket, pour in lots and lots of different colour paints, and swing the bucket around the canvas until it runs out. Take it to London and probably sell it for half a million if you could find somebody to market it. First name's Jason. Uh, never heard of him. Hello, Ian Leach. Oh, Ian, how you doing, you, sir? You're right. 
Right, so just some sand and sealer in there then. Making mm. sure we don't get it on the painted area. Because it will take all the paint off. Because it's a solvent. So, just little bits really. Don't want it splashing all over the place. Oh, Lucy says Cecil Beaton used to live in the same house. What, your house, Lucy, or the house next door? And she has a couple of his paintings. Actually, it's, yeah, I do know Cecil. Yep. Put that flash off. I'm not going <coughs> to Yorkshire grit that because I don't want to risk catching the uh, the other bits. I thought it looked a bit mapley as well, Doug. But you know, it's beach. We won't worry. It's beach. It had it written on it. Beach. beach. It said beach. It had it written on the side of it. It had it written on it. Evidence. It, if you don't believe me, go back to the start and see. It had beach on it. <laughs> it did. <laughs> ah, so Lucy lives next door to Reddish House. Which all these famous artists have been living next door to her. Living next Bought door the wrong house, to Lucy. Lucy. The wrong house. It's no point saying, oh, I'll live next door. you got to live with, not next door. They've got a blue plaque on there. Cecil Beaton lived there. That's English heritage, huh? It's English heritage. All right, so let's get this just denibbed. Then we'll give it another coat. It's Norfolk Beach, says Ben. Norfolk, Norfolk Beach. Beach. It's Norfolk Beach. Can't be a bit of Norfolk Beach, boy. Mm. Oh, nearly. That nearly ran over my colour a bit then. Got a little bit heavy handed with the. What we call it? Thing me bob. Sealer sand. Apparently, took. Apparently, Lucy says Toya lived there as well next door. It's a mystery if she did. Hmm. <laughs> All right. D nib. Sure, it's not hostile. Yeah, it could be, couldn't it? Could be a DOS house. <laughs> I didn't go that far. <laughs> 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 I was being political. Oh, well, you, you're going to lob one of these in there and again, I mean. <laughs> A DOS house. Right, so. Brilliant. Let's get some wax on it. Again, Yorkshire. No, not Yorkshire grit. Hampshire Sheen high gloss wax. Lucy lives next to a DOS house. <laughs> Imagine in school now. Lucy lives next to a DOS house. Oh, Lucy, she's going to regret ever saying anything. She's going to wish you kept the mouth shut now. Toyish, surer than you, actually. There is the odd one. It's always from Emma to Cook. Never mind. No, it's Hampshire Sheen, Mark. It's definitely Hampshire Sheen, not Chestnut. <laughs> right, let's buff this up. I, I did say Chestnut at the beginning. He's copying me. He's been listening. Mm -hmm. So we'll do the same as we did the bottom. We'll give it two coats. Our first coat. Take this sticker off the back. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give the back another wax. Because we've had the, the fumes from the black... <laughs> It may have uh, just stuck to the back, but because it's been waxed, it should come off easy with just a light wax. Can you explain, is that word told or two? I'll pretend it's two. Lucy says, also next door, I suppose, there were there was two cock 
fighting pens at the top of the house. Oh, uh, it's a strange doll's bit. house for sure. <laughs> Words was as it's out of a house. <laughs> it's huge. It's huge, mate. Huge. Two cock fighting pens. Okay. Anybody turn pens here? Oh, cock fighters. All right, let's get this buffed up then. Oh, there was old, there was old cockfighting pens at the top of the house. And now there's new ones. Now there's new ones. Look at that. Yeah, Norbert, it's not. It's definitely not. Definitely not. Um, Beach, we walk on the conclusion. Whoever speech. we decided to write beach on there was speech. just uh, messing about, but yeah, you're welcome to the picture, it's not a problem. I'm just gonna just gonna confirm what everybody knows you're still alive. Unless this is pre-recorded. Beach. Here it is. <laughs> Take it off, <laughs> the thing is, if you put that in some, put some in some gallery and said this is a beautiful piece of Malay beach or something, people will just buy it for the name. They won't wonder what it is. I'll tell Massa a, a uh, inbred species. Whereas it says it's bloody massive. Well, That's house. a small one. Right, so mm. I think we're there, guys. I think we're there. I think we're there. Yoop, whoop. So let's just put that gouge away. Let's get it out as I drop it down to dink the corner. So you should see green and then blue. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we are. Yes, it. Yeah, Roy, look up, Roy. Carry on, Roy. Look, green, but Roy, green, Roy, blue. just Roy, just for you, green, and a li lighter shade of green than blue, Roy. There blue. they go, green and blue. Okay, Roy, just for you, Roy. Hello, camera's covered in splats. Aurora Woodcraft says you've got to go. Hi, very Aurora. nice beach platter, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up on the way out if you haven't already. Be appreciated just for Steve, not me. I don't care. So blue, green, blue, green, green, blue, green. That's enough of that. Fed up with that now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so what are we doing? Let's come back on to this camera. Turn them lights off. I'll turn these ones Gary off. Glass says it's it's purdy, Steve. Thanks, mate. So there we go. Just a little player. I actually do like that. I was a bit sceptical when I first when I first put the green on there. I thought it might be a bit too in your face, but it's actually come through there quite nice. And it's a bit goldy as well as you turn it there. I see Roy's just come up. Okay, it worked this time. I'll let you off. <laughs> and then just that's a good finish on, on the back too. Playing on the back. Lovely beach ball, that Steve. So I might give it another. Another wax in the middle there in the morning. That's just got a little bit of a satin finish to it. It needs to be boxed out a little bit better. So, <laughs> okay, um, Alex. So you now you think you never turned anything coloured? Have a go at that. It looks lovely, doesn't it? Just have a go. That. Have a go at that. You've seen it here first. Or you could have a go if you're feeling really venturous. Venturous, is that a word? Adventurous. Adventurous. You could have a go. Oh, where is it? Where is it? I can't find it. You so could have just got to go. See you later, Doug. He's got to finish this wall hanging. Thank you, Doug. See the pictures on Sunday, buddy. So, Very Alex. Nice was that Alex? Chitty. Was that Alex? Alex. Alex said, look, yellow on the first angle. No, he's never, who? never who? coloured anything, Alex says. He's never coloured anything. And don't always like colour on turnings. But 
that is really nice. So, Alex, if you really want to give yourself a challenge, you could do one of these. Hey, look at that. There you go, Alex. You could do one of those. That's a challenge and a half. But that's only if you like colour. Ben <laughs> Benjamin says, could we get a close-up of the grain? Of the what? The grain. Nigel Harvey, good evening, Nigel. Didn't see Hi, you in Nigel. the chat, but there we are. Eh, that is brill. I might have a go at that myself. Well, you go have a go, buddy. Have a go, mate. That's what, we, go. that's what we show you for. That's what we do it for. So people can have a go. Hang on, let me just wrap this up, because if not, I'll drop it and I'll damage it. And then that won't. Baz of Real Simple Things is in. Sorry, mate, but we're not burning tonight. You missed the Baz. I, I set light to six minutes. I did try, Baz. I asked him, I said, can you burn it? And then, no, can't do that. He says, paint it instead. All right, so what do you want? See the grain. See the grain. Close up of the grain. Close up as you can. All right, now lean it back, back or forward so you don't get the light on it. That's uh, right. That looks maybe to me as um, or chestnut or, yeah. Could be, oh, hang on. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't look like ashy now. It's, too, too flexy a grain for ash could be maple. It's beach. Or chestnut. Maple beach. or chestnut. It's not bloody beach. <laughs> yeah, anyway. beach. So, um, but it's a good job regardless. So, what it is. Alex, with the, um, with the uh, powders and flakes, if you do, a, you can do a centrifugal effect with them as well. So, same sort of principle, but what you do is you put the, uh, the size on. You put the size on around the ring, around the centre, spin it up so the, the glue splats off, and then put your first colour on, let it dry, then do it again with your second colour, third colour, fourth colour, blah, 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 and then you end up with a streaky, that's a bit, that's it, with a, uh, it. a, a it. effect like that as well. So there's several different ways you can do the... the uh, Centrifugal effect. Use the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? Powders and flakes, and they do come in powders and flakes... Um, these are the powders, a little five gram. I think they're five gram or 0.5 of a gram. And then the flakes are a little bit bigger because they're a bit more, um, a bit more, they're not quite so volume. dense. Yeah. yeah, volume. In uh, but again, as you can see, these are all chameleon colors. They all change colors. So they all, all color change. I don't know if you can really see it on that camera. So you've gone from a purple to like a yellow to like a, a bluey colour. There's a green and purple there. That's brilliant. Yeah, there's, there's, there's different ones. and yeah. The flakes and the that. powders are both different colours, so you don't get the same colours in, in both of them. But that one's like a, like a, an orange into a red, yellow. So they are really good. They're not cheap. Um, but what is cheap nowadays? But go on Emma Cook's website, uh, the Tiny Turner, and have a look. She is the, the, the distributor for those camellia colours, uh, the powders and the flakes. Did it smell like beach as you turned? Oh, yeah, it always smells like beach, Fred. Everything does. <laughs> I don't know what beach smells like, mate. <laughs> um, so, yeah, go over to Ty, uh, Emma Cook, Tiny Turner's website, and you can buy the flakes and the powders from her. And the size, you can buy the size as well. Um, she supplies this size, which is a good size. Um, this stays tacky for around about 45 it minutes, really good. but it doesn't dry 100%. It continuously stays tacky. That's why we give it a little dust and over of the acrylic lacquer just to dry it off. So you've got a dry surface. Because if not, if you was to turn the center out when it's not perfectly dry, then what happens? All the dust will just stick to it. Yeah, you just stick to it and look awful. So that's the idea of putting over the uh, the little bit of acrylic lacquer. Like I say, it's not to give it a shine. It's just to take away the, the tackiness of the size. Just to seal it. Yeah, just to seal it. That's exactly that word. Yeah, Emma does some really nice powders. I did have some of her. Oh, I've still got them. Some of the original ones she used to do. She used to do resin. What are they called? Resin. Uh, well, let's resin. Mm -hmm. These are these are the original ones, the first ones. These are the powders, and she does the flakes as well. Uh, then she brought her, her own... Uh, which I must say are more vibrant colours, a lot of vibrant colours, um, and then they and are, definitely. yeah, and they're really nice. Uh, them ones were twenty five pound for the powders and twenty pound for the flakes, 
Um, I'm not sure what hers are now because I bought those when they first came out. So what they are, I do not know. But like I say, pop over to our website and have a look. So other than that, I think we are about there. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thanks to all the new people come over and joined us. That's been nice to see some new faces in the chat. Hope you guys have liked it and I hope you come back again. Um, other than that, I don't think there's nope. much. Don't forget, everybody, Pete Twisted Trees is on at I Sunday. Think 8 o'clock Sunday night. Yeah, we'll give... Put we'll the give, link in earlier. I don't know if he's still there. You can put it in again. We will give Pete a um, shout out on um, Sunday as well. He's standing in for me for the next nine weeks. So. <laughs> I'm on holiday. You're not on holiday till the end of the month. Shush, shush, shush. I'm away next week. Don't tell uh, me he's, According to Pete, Pete thinks I'm always an X-ray. Shush, shush. All right, okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think that's about it. So, other than that, I think um, we will see you on Sunday. So, I will be back Sunday lunchtime with my lovely wife. Uh, we've got the hashtag reveal. So, if you've got pieces you'd like to send to me before Sunday, make sure you get them over today I'll if you can. Mine. Get them I'll over send to, mine in. Get them over today if you can, because nope. then that gives me a chance to do the montage uh, before Sunday and then it will go live then six o'clock Sunday night as well but I will show it on my Sunday lunchtime live before anybody else sees it um, other than that and remember the makers t-shirts are up for sale so um, thank you to everybody who's already bought their t-shirts so uh, we will sort that out um, I've asked for a payment from last year's makers t-shirts weren't as good as I thought it was I thought it was a hundred quid but when it was 60 odd pounds so weren't as good as it was the year before, but we're in a living crisis, so I don't expect too much. And every every penny helps anyway. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. Um, the few quid extra helps anyway. Um, it all helps. It does all help, yeah. So hopefully that's about it, really. I think other than that, we will see you on Sunday. So thank you to Terry for coming in. and, and uh, oh, Welcome. My pleasure, mate. Let's bring Terry and Wayne. Uh, Terry oh, and, uh, Hello, Wayne everybody. Back. Just to just to rub it all in, I am having a bit of the Toblerone. Mm. He's been oh, eating that maybe. all night. All night he's been chewing on it. <laughs> so when he goes quiet, that's what he's doing. Have a good one. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for coming and joining us. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. hope it's inspired a few people. If you do one of these... Stick some pictures on, or send me some pictures so yeah. I can see, so I can see what you come up with. Because it's always interesting to see other people's work. I quite like it when um, there was a gentleman a few weeks ago, uh, you know, a few Ooh. weeks ago, um, put on a picture. He'd had a go at doing the Harlequin Bowl, the bit, the picture, the bowl I just showed you, and um, it was nice to see that it's inspired somebody to have a go at something different. So if you have a go, then uh, send us some Pop pictures, some pictures on. or stick it on Facebook and tag me in it. Uh, either Stephen Cavell or SK Crafts and I will be tagged in it and then I would like to see what you come up with but other than that have a great weekend keep warm keep safe and uh, keep turning if, you're warm, if you can get warm uh, so we'll see you again thanks for coming over take care speak to you soon and bye for now night bye guys bye, bye. that's all folks